Hello all, my name is Krish Nag and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be continuing the discussion with respect to Python and in today's uh, session we will be seeing different types of data structures like sets and then we will go ahead and understand dictionaries. After that we will understand nested dictionary and finally we will see what is tuple. Again guys, these data structures are important when you are doing exploratory data analysis so you should have an idea about it. It is not necessary that you need to know all the inbuilt functions inside this. Definitely Google will be there to help you out but you should know how this particular data structure works. So to begin with if I want to create a set, what is a set? A set is an unordered collection data type that is iterable, mutable and has no duplicate elements. This is one of the most important property guys. Python sets classes represent the, uh, the mathematical notion of a set. This is based on the data structure known as hash table. I hope you know about hash table. I think in your engineering days you may have heard about it. So let us go ahead and try to see that how to create a set. So in order to create a set guys, first of all you can create an empty set by using an inbuilt function called as set itself. And over here you can see that I am pr printing this set underscore variable. It is basically giving me an empty set. What is the type? Type is basically a set type. Now let me just create. In order to create sets, <clears throat> what you have to do is that you have to basically use uh, flower braces. So suppose I write set underscore where and you just use a flower braces and you can provide any elements over here. So suppose I write 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Now over here I know these are my sets of elements of integer values, okay? Now suppose if I write 3 once again, if I execute it, right? And if I try to see what this variable is set underscore where now you'll be seeing that even though I have declared five numbers I just have four numbers the reason is that as you as I said earlier that it does not have any duplicate elements so whatever duplicate elements is present it will be just taken as one element so let, let us see another example in this particular set I have written movies like Avengers Iron Man Hitman Okay, and I'm basically printing set underscore where's and this is the type you can see that the type is set and over here I have Iron Man, Avengers and Hitman. Now let us see some more inbuilt functions of set. Now inbuilt function of set first of all always remember before learning any inbuilt function see that how you can basically retrieve how you can basically uh, see the elements in the set. Okay, and again this is basically called as indexing. I will write it as indexing again. So if I write set of where of 0, so it does not support indexing. Always remember that set does not support indexing. So instead, if I write set of Avengers, so this is not subscriptable also. So you cannot find out indexing in sets. Okay. If you want to retrieve the elements, there, is, there will be different ways of retrieving it, which I will be showing you. So you don't have any indexing things. So if I want to add elements inside the set, there will be an inbuilt function called as add function, right? And here you will be adding the elements like hull. Suppose I add hull, then if I see my set underscore where, uh, I can see that the hulk is basically added, okay? So let me just uh, execute this line because I'm just playing with the movies inside this particular set. So let me add hulk and here it is. Now, <clears throat> apart from this, let us go and see some more inbuilt function inside sets. What are there? So if I write set underscore var dot tab, right? you can see that there are a lot of functions like add, copy, difference, difference, update, discard, intersection, intersection, update. I hope you have heard of intersection and intersection update. In maths, if you have learned about sets, you can basically find out, uh, you can do an union, you can do an intersection in uh, sets. You can also do, you can also find out difference between a set. So how to do all those things? So let us take an example. Suppose I have in my set 1 Avengers, Iron Man and Hitman. In my set 2 I have Avengers, Iron Man, Hitman and Hulk. Now if I find out the difference, difference basically means that all the common elements between these sets will get removed. Okay. So suppose if I write set 2 dot difference of set 1. That basically means set from set 2 I am removing all the elements that are present in set 1. From here I will remove these three elements because you can see that these three are basically common in both the sets. Only the remaining thing that will be remaining is basically Hulk. Okay. Now here you can see when I do dot difference, it is not an update on set 2. Okay. That basically means if I, if, I, if I go and see my set 2 again, I will basically be finding 
all the elements like that but after this difference i need to update these values in my set too so for that i have an inbuilt function called as dot difference underscore update okay set one and when i do this and if i see my print set two it is basically getting appended now not only this guys see they are a lot of things okay they are something called an intersection also let me execute this and let me just go below so here if i write set to dot intersection of set if i execute it here you can see that which are the common elements only that will be getting displayed but again it should be an update operation so what i can do is that i can basically write underscore update once i execute this this is got fixed and here it is you can basically see my set 2 which is basically giving avengers hitman and iron man okay and this is the intersection that you need to understand now this was all about sets i would please suggest you go and see other inbuilt function again you need not remember it google is always there to help you out okay, let us go ahead and try to see about dictionaries now dictionary is a collection which is unordered uh, and it is basically changeable it can be indexed in short it has key value pairs so in order to define a dictionary you just have to use empty braces now i have already told you in sets also use this kind of braces but inside this you have variables you have items assigned over there you have some items whereas in dictionary what you do is that you do not put items like this instead you will be putting the items somewhere like this like a key value pairs like car one is equal to audi car two is equal to bmw car three is colon is equal to mercedes benz now one thing observe in this guys when you are writing dictionary over here and you are seeing type of dictionary uh, dictionary is this right so suppose i create one more variable which looks like that underscore example and inside this suppose i define i use the same curly braces and i'm giving the element so if i go and see the type of this set underscore x i go and see the type of this set underscore x ex so you can see that it is basically a set okay so that is the basic difference in dictionary you have key value pairs Whereas in set, you just provide an elements. Okay. Now, after this, what we do is that we will be creating a dictionary. And this is a manual way of creating dictionaries. You also have an inbuilt function called as dict. This dict. So if you see over here, I'll give you an example. So if I write type of, here you can see that it is a dictionary. By this, you are basically creating an empty dictionary. So here I have manually added some elements with key and value pairs inside the dictionary and the type of my underscore dict is basically dictionary itself. In this, always remember any data structures you want to learn, make sure that first of all, you try to find out whether it is indexing, uh, whether you can basically retrieve the data from that particular data structure with the help of indexing. In this case also, you will be using indexing. But here, remember that the indexing will not be your index number like 0, 1, 2, 3. Instead, the indexing number will be your key names. So you have key names like car1, car2, and car3, right? So when I write my underscore dict of car1, which is my key, key, key value, so once I execute it, you can see that, first of all, let me just execute this. If you see over here, you can see that I'm able to find out Audi because this is the key, and right? Car1 is the key and Audi is basically the value, okay? Now, similarly, what we can do is that we can also write for loops, you know, so we can fi find out for loops through our dictionary. So I'll write for X in my dictionary, print X, right? So my dictionary by default, by default, when I'm retrieving this value from here, it is basically iterating through the keys. Okay. So when I do print X, I'm able to find out car one, car two and car three, which are my keys over here. You can see this is my key value pairs, right? And then from this, these all are my keys, car one, car two and car three. Now, similarly, what I'll do is that, uh, let, let, me, let me see some more examples. Now, here I have actually traversed towards the keys. Now, here I will actually traverse toward, to, uh, I mean, through my values. So, for over here, you can see that for x in my dictionary dot values, values are nothing but all the values of this key pairs, right? All the values like Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, okay? So when I traverse through this and if I write print x, you can see that I'm getting printed as Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Similarly, you can traverse through both key and value pairs. 
for that i have to use something called as dictionary dot items in items you will basically be getting both key and the value name so this is how it is getting displayed we can also even update uh, the key name with something else so here it is here you can basically write see this my underscore dictionary is equal to, uh, of car 4 so car 4 is basically my key which is not been written yet but if i want to add a new key what i'll do is that i'll write my underscore dictionary car of 4 is equal to audi 2.0 so this is my new car name now if i execute this if i see my dictionary here a new element is getting getting added okay now one more thing after this suppose i add i add okay and i create i i i, I write the same key name like car1 suppose my same key name is car1 and here i will basically be saying that is equal to uh, maruti i'll just give another car what will happen so see guys keys is getting repeated over here so if i go and see my my underscore dictionary right my underscore dictionary what it will be you can see that this this key value got replaced to maruti okay so the previous key value the value that was present that has got overridden always remember that so whenever you append with the same key some values that will get overridden over here okay and this is the basic understanding of the indexing in dictionaries and remember guys most of the data sources that you will be using like mongodb after you are loading some json data right you have to convert that into dictionaries uh, because uh, in mongodb most of your data is actually stored in key value pairs so it is very very necessary that you understand these all operations with respect to dictionaries now the next thing is that i'll try to understand what is nested dictionary and here you can see that my car one model i've basically given like a key value pair uh, this is my model name and this is my year okay model name and year model name and year okay now what i'm doing is that i'm manually creating and i'm saying that okay car one has this model car two has this model car three has this model now when i do this when i do this what is happening this car type is basically becoming a dictionary and in this dictionary it is basically a nested dictionary because this is my first key name inside this i have another key and this is finally my value right and we should also know how to do the indexing to retrieve the value suppose i want to i want to get this particular value 1960 okay mercedes 1960 i want this particular value so how do i retrieve it so again we'll be using indexing so for using the indexing first of all i will go and capture this key value called as car1 so let me just write it down i'm going to printing it car underscore type of car1 so based on this key value this will be my value right the whole value will be this but after this i want this 1960 as my value right so after that i'll apply one more indexing where i'll give my another key which is mercedes and here i'm getting it as 1960 similarly any nested dictionary let it be how deep the nested dictionary may be you will be able to just easily retrieve all the values with the help of indexing that is the most important thing to understand now similarly this was about dictionaries i hope you got it guys again there are a lot of inbuilt functions inside dictionaries which you can basically uh, again you need not remember it guys only understand indexing is the most uh, most important thing that you should know how how indexing works apart from that google will always be there to help you out for different different inbuilt functions now let us go and understand tuples now tuple is another very important thing guys uh, understand tuple is not mutable once you have actually defined a tuple you cannot change the elements of a tuple okay so in this particular uh, first statement if you want to create an empty tuple you are basically doing this and uh, suppose i have defined one tuple over here okay so this is krish ankur and john and remember whenever you want to define a tuple you have to use round braces okay round opening and closing braces so here it is my tuple if you want to and again as, as i said you any data structures you want to learn go and see that how an indexing works for this so i'm saying my tuple of zero it is basically showing us krish okay now understand what i told is that if i try to replace this value with something else like i'll write my at that time it will give me an error saying that tuple does not support item assignment remember guys this is very important this item name cannot be changed the whole item can be changed uh, what i mean is that if i write like this and if i if i if i if i replace this whole tuple with something else 
okay so i'll i'll say hello world okay this this will get replaced but the elements won't get replaced the elements won't get replaced you cannot support an item assignment okay you can completely change the whole list but not a single element okay so usually tuples you may be considering where it will be used guys remember tuple will basically be used in such programs in such application where the definition of an item is required just for one time okay you cannot perform any operations on it you can only replace that whole tuple uh, tuple in short okay and by this you just have two inbuilt function one is dot count so this will basically see that how many times crush is present so whatever name or whatever item you are basically writing similarly in index it will just give you the index uh, number of that particular tuple element so this was all about this videos about uh, dictionary tuple nested dictionary and sets i hope you like this guys uh, again you need to practice again this material is basically given in the github so i'll see you all in the next video with something more interesting and i'll continue the topic there itself thank you one and all